an age-old industry. Sri Lanka's pure Ceylon tea commands the highest global prices. Strict controls regulate the $1.5 billion industry. But exporters are calling for change. We want to take a bigger share of the world tea export market. They want to bring in cheaper teas from other producing countries for blending and other value addition in order to increase Sri Lanka's current exports of 300 million kilos. The protection is out in the world. People have a choice. People have a, a, a certain price they can pay. So within that, uh, industry had to reshape itself. But the exporters are facing stiff opposition from some quarters. The founder of Sri Lanka's first global brand, packed at origin, unblended and owned by a producer, says there's never been a problem selling Ceylon tea. We have a sacred duty to protect that industry, our tea industry, and not let it fall into the hands of adventurers. Trying to survive by selling cheap, any commodity, you will begin to bite the dust because there will be so many other people who undersell you. Tea brokers represent the country's producers, sending out up to a million samples each week. They say promotion is vital. We cannot assume that uh, this presumption of understanding and uh, the desire to keep coming after Ceylon tea will continue from generation to generation if enough is not done to reinvest in that. A number of the biggest international tea brands were built on the reputation of Ceylon tea. But most have left Sri Lanka to set up operations in other countries where they can use cheaper teas in their products. Those urging change say the country must exploit global demand for cheaper teas. But those fighting it warn that doing so would threaten what they say is the world's finest cup of tea. Mina Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Naval Apitia, Central Sri Lanka.